Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue with our first person shooter by making the gun follow the mouse, like you see here. So whenever I move the mouse up, the gun goes with it. And when I move it down, it also goes with the mouse. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the script we're gonna be using to make the gun follow the mouse is a modified version of something I found online. And I'll link that article in the description. This was the article that I used and the program was created by the user Clever Source. Originally what he did is he had the player's torso and head follow the mouse. So what I did is I modified it. I kept the head part so it went with the mouse, but instead of moving the torso, I just moved the right arm. If you wanna take a look at this, you can. It'll be linked in the description. To add the script to the game, what you're going to do is go under the Starter Player folder and then find the Starter Player scripts. You're going to be adding a local script and go ahead and rename it to Follow Mouse. I'm not going to go through this script because it's pretty complex. I will explain the basics though in just a second. I'm going to have this script linked in the description so that you can just copy and paste it. So some of the changes that I made from the original script is like I said before, rather than moving the torso, which is what the original script here does, it moves the head and the torso. So I changed that part from the torso to the right arm. So here we have the right arm and I kept the head and neck the same so it also moves the head with the mouse. And then one additional change that I made is in the original program it used arc tangent. I changed that to arc sine and I'll explain what that is in just a second but that was really the only two changes that I needed to make from the original. So I changed the torso part to arm and shoulder and then instead of using the arc tangent function I used the arc sine. All right, so like I said before, don't worry about trying to copy this from the screen. There's gonna be a link in the description where you can just copy and paste this. So now that we have the script, let me try to explain the basics of it. All right, so what we're trying to do with the script is always have the gun facing the mouse so that it moves with the camera. So rather than having it facing forward like it is here, we would rather it look like this. So we want the gun to always be facing toward the mouse. To do that, we need to rotate the gun from the forward position, which is represented by this red line here and we want to move it to the green position, which is aligned from the gun to the mouse. And to do that, we need to figure out what the angle is between those two lines. This is going to involve some trigonometry, so to figure out what this angle right here is, we need to know the length of two of the sides of this triangle. So the two sides that we're going to find are going to be the opposite side, which is the side that's directly opposite of the angle. And then we're also going to find the hypotenuse, which is going to be the line that goes from the gun here to the mouse. So like I said before, we need to figure out the length of these two sides. So starting with the hypotenuse, which is the side right here, starting from the gun to the mouse, and the code that's calculated with this line right here. So what they're doing is they're taking the position of the head, which is this part right here, and that's going to be a vector, so it's going to have an x, a y, and a z part. And then they're also taking the position of the mouse, which is this value right here. And what they're doing first is they're subtracting those two vectors, and then taking the magnitude of it, and by taking the magnitude of that, it's going to give the distance. So this line right here will give us the length of this side of the triangle right here. And then to figure out the length of the opposite side, which goes from this corner up here down to the bottom corner, it's calculated with this line of code right here. And the basic idea for this one is what we're going to do is we're going to take the height of the mouse and subtract it from the height of the head. The height of the mouse would be this part right here, point dot y. And then the height of the head would be this part over here where it says head.cframe.y. And then they're subtracting those two values to get the length of this side right here. So now that we have the length of the hypotenuse and also the length of the opposite side, what we can do is use the arc sine function to figure out what the angle is. So for the arc sine function, if we give it the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, it'll give us the angle we need right here. So that's the basic idea for the math that's working in the script. There's some other parts of that they are more specific to Roblox and how the character works, but that's the basic idea for the math of it. So just as a quick recap, to figure out what the rotation angle is, we need to figure out what the opposite side is, and also the hypotenuse. And we calculate that with those two lines in the code. This is how the hypotenuse is calculated. This is how the opposite side is calculated. So once you have those two different values, then you can use the arc sine function to get the angle of rotation that we need. So just going back to the code real quick, this line right here would represent the hypotenuse of our triangle. This line right here would represent the opposite side of our triangle. And then you can see down here we're using the arc sine function with the ratio of those two different values. 
All right, so I hope that helps you understand the script a little bit. Like I said before, the script is going to be linked in the description. So you can just click on that link and then copy and paste it into the game. This is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.